man. I'm gonna go for the next uh, uh, This does no joke. What's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski. What's up man? How you doing? Good man. How about you? Excellent. He's been to four Pro Bowls, he has a Super Bowl ring, and you can catch him on his new show Crash Leads and Nickelodeon. You know him, man. You're a little pressed for time, so usually we do ten wings. Ooh. Today we're doing five. All right, that's cool. That's the good news. Yes. The bad news is we did bring two of our hottest sauces Ooh. with us to L.A. You're a buffalo guy, but this will push you to the, the edge. The mega death. That sounds scary, man. Are you ready to get it going? I'm ready to start with the, you know, the first couple, like the sriracha. You know, I'm, I'm ready for that one. Let's 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 start. All right, sriracha. This is no big deal. It's a light one. Let's try it. Mm. Not so bad. That's no, nothing. So not bad at all. Crash Leads, it's one of these mm. clip shows where you take yeah. these epic athlete fails and you analyze them, you crack jokes. And the way that you were brought up with all those brothers bouncing off the walls all the time, I have to think that you have some sort of emergency room story or some sort of evil Knievel moment that if camera phones were around in the 90s, would have been a YouTube hit. Uh, yes, uh, we kind of do have one. We were all playing mini sticks uh, with actually all my brothers, but my little brother, I went in the middle of them, checked them, and boom. It's actually been aired a couple times on TV, and boom, he went flying right to the ground. My mom was holding, holding the camera. All you hear is my mom scream, ah! And my brother goes, boom, right to the ground. Next thing you know, the camera shuts off. My brother had to go right to the hospital, get stitches all in here. He was like three years old at the time. So it was pretty epic. You I popped mean, him with a check. Popped him with a check. It's mini sticks, anything goes. So this is our hot sauce. You're on the Hot Ones show. This is the Hot right. Ones hot sauce. We're very proud of this one. Here we go. Mm. Pretty good. Oh, pretty tasty. Speaking of growing up I ground, can handle that one. I know that you guys were huge wrestling fans. Oh yeah. So I've got some of the legends from the 80s, 90s era right in your wheelhouse. I'm yep. gonna show you them. You just tell me the first thing that pops right, in your head what you think of them, okay? I love this. All right. Back in the days. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. The Rock. Love him. I, the eyebrow, do you smell? I mean, you do the eyebrow for me, I'll be talking. Do you smell what my hot sauce is cooking? <laughs> How about Stone Cold? Stone Cold Stunner, baby. Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love the Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold is your favorite? Yeah, so he's one of my favorites. Uh, the, the, um, we'll I, I got, one, go I got one, I got we'll one, I got one. We'll go, we'll go. I think I have somebody that's special to you. But first we gotta go Ric Flair. Ooh, Ric Flair. We're just too... Sweet. You don't know that? He was, uh... I know, but he did that one too. <laughs> I'm getting a little confused here. This is back in my era. Woo! All right, so this last one, I had a feeling this guy would be your favorite. I don't know if he is, but I have a feeling he has a special place in your heart, all right? You ready? Let's see. Is it Val Venus? Oh, Val Venus. Hello, ladies. And then he whips off the towel. I used to always do that as a kid growing up. Before the shower, you put it around you. I looked at myself in the mirror. Hello, ladies. And then whip the towel around like him. Val Rat Venus, talent. definitely my favorite wrestler. Val Venus is your favorite? It was. Are you yes. a little bit he impressed? Was, he was. That I backloaded yeah, Val knew Venus. It. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. We're kind of mentalists here on yes. that one. But you knew Val Venus was going to be my favorite. I, I, I just that did. Was easy. I just did. I just that did. Was it's easy. so crock. 100%. These are kind of free throws. Now we're, we're, we're going up. up a little bit. And we're really amping up. All right, let's try it out. All right. Let's try this pain out. I actually hate this one the yeah. most. Bad taste. See, I, I like mild, medium. I know. Gronk's hot sauce, that's for taste. This one is insane. This is definitely starting some pain. How can I have water now? You can do it. Already after the third. No, I got at least water after it. I can't do it yet. I respect it. Ooh. At First We Feast, we're very interested in what athletes eat. If you're going to have some sort of last supper, who do you invite? What do you serve? Who do I invite? I'll just invite my closest family and my closest friends. And uh, I got to serve one of my mom's meals. Uh, we're going to serve a couple of them because it's our last meal. So you're going to try and stuff down like four different meals. Hit Obviously, it's your last one. My mom's chicken souffle. Uh, we got to have her cooking a steak, too, and some barbecue chicken and her twice baked potatoes. Nice. Uh, you know, she takes out the potato, puts adds the cheese, sour cream, all that. 
She also does that with hash browns too, twice baked hash browns off the chain, I'm telling you. And then she makes a good salad, just a little start, but you know, it's the last supper. You're really not trying to eat a salad, so take out the salad. We're gonna bring in her desserts. Uh, she makes the, one of the best cookies out. She makes the best- Cookie. Cookies, chocolate chip cookies, uh, and the best birthday cake with some strawberry filling it. And also to start <laughs> off with an appetizer, the mom's buffalo chicken wing dip. And you also, we need her jelly too. And you put that on some Ritz crackers with peanut butter, you're golden. Backyard barbecue style on a boat, what's the vibe? Uh, we're gonna just grill, grill some, grill. Chicken, grill. dogs, hot dogs, uh, burgers, uh, grill some vegetables on, on the top, have some grilled veggies, pretend you're eating healthy at this barbecue, you know, so uh, that's it. Who's on the soundtrack? Waka Flocka and Who Kid? Oh, Waka Flocka, Who wow, Kid, wow, yeah, wow. you know it. Uh, top 20, some Justin Timberlake, all that, all the, all all the, the top hits. 20, all the hits. All right, so this is Mad Dog 357. Not Ooh. to be messed with, it is no joke. Really? I don't like this one. Your teammate? Yeah, oh, this isn't good. It's horrible. It's hot, but also like the Taste? flavoring. What flavoring is that? Hot metal? Yeah, it's like, I agree, it's like metal. Going for the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. So your teammate and fellow tight end Martellus Bennett, he recently wrote a children's book, Hey AJ, which yeah, flies in the face of what a lot of people think the about. the first book I can read, the children's <laughs> book. That's not true, because you have a book of your I own. I know, I couldn't read it, it was too advanced. And you've inspired some crazy fan fiction, but now that you're hosting a kid's show, have you ever thought about also writing a children's book? Oh, oh man. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, uh, this does no joke. You ever thought about a children's book? No, I leave that up to my teammate, Martellus. He's the genius like that. So I'm gonna leave the writing of the children's book up to Martellus. I already wrote a book, did a book tour, I'm done with books. Never doing a book again. Well, let me stop you right there because I thought oh. of a good children's book for you in the Uber oh. on the way here. Can I pitch it to you? And if yeah, you like go. it, maybe we talk business after this. Hurry up. All right, so were you always the biggest kid in the class or did you have yes, a growth spurt? Always. always the biggest kid, that is so perfect. The book is called Robbie Big Boots. Robbie Big Boots. And it's about a fifth grader who's so big that he can't wear normal, like cool kid fifth grader shoes. He can only wear big boots and all the kids tease him. They call him Robbie Big Boots, okay? Well, he's the coolest kid then. You're sticking with me, right? Yep. You're with me? Now, I don't know about the middle. I haven't worked out the beat, so let's fast forward to the end. It's the district championship football game. All right. And Robbie Big Boots' team is playing in it. But they don't have their field goal kick. He went camping with his parents the weekend before and got poison ivy, so he's not with them. They have a chance to win the game-winning field goal. They look down the bench, and his coach knows their only shot, Robbie Big Boots. Bring him out on the field, clears the, uh, he goes right through the uprights from 40 yards out. He goes from the kid who was bullied to now the most popular kid yeah. in the school because he was a hero in the big yeah. game. All right, I like it, I like it. But, I mean, are you gonna really write like how many pages? It's a quick story. So I gotta work it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but I like the I like the title. Robbie like Big Boots. I love it. So this is the last wing. It is Blair's uh, Mega Death Sauce. I can't with even think. Rage. So but it's good, great title. To dab the last wing. I'm gonna do it. You don't have to. If you uh, want I'm to, not Rob. doing that. I don't like to peer pressure people on this one because it is no joke. Dude, I don't even know if I could do this last one. Rob. Mad Dog got me. Blair's my He's mad sauce. at me. Can you man up? Can you do it? I'm like do a crash leak right now. Crash it, baby. I'm crash leak eating these wings. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite. So, Rob, sometimes I feel that people try to put you in the box. They either try to make you the bro god or they try to make you the party animal. But I wonder, in what ways are you mischaracterized? In which ways are you misunderstood? Oh, man. People probably think I like hot sauce. I don't like hot sauce at all. I like mild and medium. I definitely mischaracterized there. Oh. Well, we should have made that clear in the email. Oh, wow. Rob, you made it all the way through. Oh. Five wings to the house. Dude, I'm like dizzy. We make you work. I'm shaking. But we work for you. 30 second plug, the floor is yours. This camera or that camera. Oh. Let the people know what you got going on in here. Oh, we got, we got the show Crash Leads going on. Uh, it's epic fails. It's like someone playing a sports 
and failing, like me trying to eat this hot sauce and failing. That's how epic these sports are, because this hot sauce is making me dizzy. It's making me start sweating, and I'm about to have tears start coming down my eyes. <laughs> Rob, before you oh. go, can, you, uh, can we ground spike a wing? Yes. Here, let's bite that. Get the hot one. Here, this is the yeah, hot That is the hot one. Dude, I'm dizzy right now. So maybe you show me how it's done and then yes. you can rate mine? You take the swing, you just go to touchdown pass. You're pissed off at it because it just made you dizzy and it's hot and you didn't like it at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, rate mine, all right, ready? Oh. Oh, I give that a nine. It was, it was good form, good everything, but it just didn't go that far. It just stayed right there. See how far mine went? 